Welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I'll be showing you how to crochet the Virgin Killer sweater. I have a PDF pattern available on my Kofi page. Links in the description box below. If you want to know how to create style one, style two, and style three, the reverse Virgin Killer sweater. All three styles will be linked in the description box below. But today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on style one, the classic look. For this project, I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter hook and I recommend using a DK weight yarn. The one I'll be using in this video is a colorful cotton yarn, but you can also use a worsted weight yarn as well. Just make sure that it's thin. You'll also need two stitch markers, fabric scissors, and then a tool to weave in your leftover yarns. Okay, so for this project, I'll be taking my 3.5 millimeter hook and I have a DK cotton yarn this brand is i love this cotton and it's a discontinued color i don't have the label with me so i don't remember what it's called but i have a bit of scrap left so here we're going to go ahead and do chain of 32 And here it is, 32 chains. So next we're going to go ahead and hold the yarn up and we're going to skip two chains and then do one half double crochet. So here is one, two. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and do it like on the back side because I've seen some people do it like that. But you can totally do it the normal way as well. So here's one half double crochet, and this is what it looks like. So this won't count as a stitch. And then we're going to do a chain two, turn it over. And from here, we're going to do the back loop only two half double crochet. So here's half double crochet one, half double crochet two, and this is what it looks like so far. Then we're going to chain two and then turn it around. And do back loop only, half double crochet, one. Back loop only, half double crochet, two. And this is the part where you pretty much repeat it. You do it back and forth until you reach 18 total count. So that was already two little rows. Here's row one. Here's row two. The first one is where we did the half double crochet. And then we turned it. It doesn't count as a stitch though. So it's one, two. And let's do one, chain two, do back loop only, half double crochet, one, back loop only, half double crochet, two, chain one, chain two, turn, and then do back loop only, half double crochet, another back loop only, half double crochet, chain one, chain two, yarn over, turn, back loop only, half double crochet, one, half double crochet two and here's what it looks like so far we currently have one two three four five and just repeat this process until you reach 18 total pieces and i'll be right back and here's what it looks like after you created the entire piece so far we have a little chain of a total of now 30 and then over here we have all the little rows that we created a total of 18 of them and this is what it should look like. Up next, we're going to go ahead and chain 30. Then from here, I'm going to simply take my fabric scissor and then cut off this part right here. And then I'm going to simply pull this all the way down. That way it can tighten the ends. And this part's gonna be like pretty long because you tightened it. Same thing with the other side. You just wanna like pull it down. And that's pretty much how I do it. I just like tighten it up. Kind of have them next to each other. 
That way you can just snip off some of the excess just like that. And there you go, we have tightened ends. And so now here's what your piece should look like. It's like the collar area. So here's the sweater again. What we created is the collar area, the very top part for the sweater. Up next, we'll be creating the rest of the outfit. From here, you'll be needing two stitch markers and make sure your project is laid down horizontally. Now you're gonna wanna count from both ends and count until you reach the seventh stitch. So from here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh stitch, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put on the little stitch marker at the very bottom and just clip that on and do the same thing from the other side. Just don't count this part as a stitch because that's not it. The part where you did the initial chain one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and add another marker. And make sure that in between there are four empty rows. One, two, three, four. And that is what it should look like. If your marker is facing down, go ahead and flip it to where it faces upwards. This is the way that we're going to be working. Starting from top to bottom, now we're going to take our project and here's what it looks like up close. Again, you can see where I place the markers. Right here where I place the marker, I'm starting on the right side. Doesn't matter what color the marker is, I'm gonna start on the right side. Take out the marker, place in my hook in between the little uh, stitches. I can get it in there. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take my next yarn. We're gonna do chain of two. One, two. And here's what it looks like. Next, we're gonna do one half double crochet inside of that same stitch. Next, we're gonna do five half double crochets starting from the next stitch. So here is one half double crochet, two half double crochet, three half double crochet, four half double crochet, and then the fifth half double crochet is going to go in the stitch marker that was on the left side. And here's what your project should look like so far. Next, we're going to do chain of two and then turn the project around to where it looks like this. If you have any strands left over, just weave it in afterwards. So now we're gonna do a half double crochet increase. So here is one half double crochet and then another half double crochet inside the same stitch there is an increase, followed by four half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and then a half double crochet increase on the very last stitch. Increase one, and then two. And that's what the project looks like so far. Now we're going to do chain of two, one, two, turn the project over, and this is what it looks like so far. You should have a total of eight stitches across. Now we're going to do a half double crochet increase on the first stitch. So here's one and two. Then we're gonna do six half double crochet across, one, two, three, four, five, six, followed by a half double crochet increase in the very last stitch. One and two. So you can see the project is getting larger along the edges. 
Now we're going to do a chain of two, turn the project around, and we're going to do another increase in the first stitch. One, two, and then eight half double crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then a half double crochet increase in the very last stitch. And then you should have a total of 12 stitches across. And that's what that looks like. Up next, we're going to do a chain of 21. One, two, three. And here's my chain of 21. So for the next part, I'm going to do a slip stitch on this side right here. So have it where the project is facing up like this, the right way up. And then from here, I'm going to put my hook into the chain two corner that we created earlier. On this side, it's going to go inwards like this, right into that corner. And I'm going to do a slip stitch Just like that. So this is what it looks like so far. Now the project should be pretty much upside down. From here, you'll want to add a stitch marker. And now we're gonna do a total of 32 half double crochets, starting from here all the way until you reach the stitch marker again. And here's what it should look like when you're done with all 32. So that part where we slip stitch onto the chain two corner, that doesn't count as a stitch. So don't be making a half double crochet stitch there. Just leave that part alone. And this is what it should look like pretty much so far. Now I'm going to be removing the stitch marker and we're gonna work rounds six through eight with the stitch marker and do 32 half double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you guys back when we're done with round eight and just so you know round one starts off where we started connecting onto the collar the collar is like its own separate thing that's like part one and then part two begins with the attachment of this round right here so go ahead and repeat the same process 
up until round eight so that's an extra three rounds and i'll meet you guys back and here's what the sweater should look like once you're done with round eight so on the back side right here you should have a total of three rounds so here's like one two and three this is round six the chains actually count as round five and then when you do half to crochet into it that's round six and then round seven followed by round eight which is where we are here so the project is still upside down like this and now for the important part, we're going to take the hook and then do one slip stitch into the very last stitch of round eight. So here is the half double crochet stitch. Go ahead and do one slip stitch right there. That way we can prevent a little gap from forming when we do our next part. In this last part, we're going to be creating the edges of the sweater dress. It's going to match the top part in terms of the texture. So you're going to want to go ahead and do chain of four, two, three, Four, and here's what it looks like then we're gonna go ahead and skip two chains and do two half double crochets two half double crochet and here is what it looks like so far from here we're going to be inserting our hook into the base but starting from the third empty stitch on the base so this first part won't count we're gonna skip two stitches so here's one empty stitch two empty stitch and then followed by the third one do one slip stitch and then another slip stitch into the next one then we're going to do yarn over and turn the project over and do back loop only two times back loop only half double crochet one back loop only half double crochet two and then do chain of two one two turn the project around do back loop only half double crochet one and back loop only half double crochet two and then here we're going to do two slip stitches again starting from the third stitch so here is one two three so on the third stitch go ahead and do one slip stitch and the next one another slip stitch turn the project around and do back loop only one half double crochet back loop only two half double crochet and then just repeat that process over and over. So do chain one, chain two, yarn over, back loop only, half double crochet one, half double crochet two, and then slip stitch into the third, right here, one, and then two. So yeah, do that all the way until you get to the very last part and I'll meet you guys on the last stitch. And here's what it should look like when you get to the very last part to close it off. I make sure that my hook ends up staying on the top part right here. So that way I'm gonna turn this around and then simply do a slip stitch right into that first triangle. Cut this off. And then we're simply just going to close it by weaving it in. Also, don't mind the color changes right here. I ran out of scrap yarn, so I had to substitute it. And here it is, the final result when we're done with the Virgin Killer Sweater Style 1. Hopefully you guys understood this tutorial. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new here. This is something different for me. I don't usually make doll alpha videos, but it's something new that I'm trying for the sake of my 20 centimeter plush dolls that I'm now getting into. Oh yeah, and here's what it should look like on the back side when you're all completely done there should be like four backgrounds right here <laughs> and you can see the part where i substitute the yarn since it ran out at least the front side you can see the original colors and how it should look like on the doll and here we have we wish in with the cotton sweater on here's what he looks like on the back side wow and an extra side note i do prefer cotton for making clothes as opposed to acrylic just because acrylic gets super fuzzy faster and this one is also weight four this is weight three dk yarn and then we have worsted so this size ends up being a little bit larger you can't really tell on this specific doll because the body is pretty good sized but i have 20 centimeter doll bodies that are smaller as you can see in the height so this one is also made to fit this doll so it ends up being a little bit longer but in my pdf file if you want to shorten it just simply like decrease maybe a row or two rows you can like try that out and see how it turns out so that way if you want the length to be shorter shorten it but in terms of like the width i think it fits pretty well it's just the height of these dolls sometimes they don't make them all the same 
but they're all called 20 centimeter dolls. I don't see what's 20 centimeter about it, but yeah. <laughs> this is the result that we have. There's also 20 centimeter dolls that have like super long extended legs and I have no idea what makes it 20 centimeters, but yeah. All types of dolls that I like to order just to test out these outfits on, but so far it fits both of these, I think, pretty well. So yeah, check out the PDF pattern. There are two more variations, aka two more styles, virgin killer sweaters, including this one right here. This is style two. It has a little gap in the middle of it. Also has the open back. And really quick, just want to show you style three of the virgin killer sweater. It's supposed to be like the reverse of the virgin killer sweater of the original. So instead of hiding the parts, it's it just shows it. <laughs> I decided to create three styles for it so yeah this is style three and this one has like a little pink heart so i had to put style three onto this doll and i think it looks pretty good <laughs> and again on the back side you can see right there there's a little gap right here and a gap on the front side so yeah there you have it we have style three style two and style one which is the one that you just made in this tutorial video so yeah guys if you want to go ahead and purchase the pdf file it'll be on my ko-fi link in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video soon bye